I never tell my badass millionaire brothers what to think. I always tell them to think, to think independently, to listen to their golden gut, to question everything, and to be constantly and relentlessly asking, does this make sense? Does this feel right? Does this sound right? And listening to your incredible intuition, your badass intuition, listening to your golden gut, does this make sense? Does this seem right? And thinking above all else independently. So critical. I never ever tell my private clients, my five-star mastermind members, even my hockey players, even my nine-year-old daughter, Emery, think for yourself. Does it make sense? What does your golden gut tell you? And independently think for yourself. There, uh, there is a technology. I was listening to a podcast the other day from um, Dr. John Roseman is his name. And the podcast is below in the PS. It was a podcast with my friend, Dan Leonis, the badass creator of the Einstein Blueprint to super accelerate your children. Uh, the Einstein Blueprint is a badass program. It's something like 101 ways to super accelerate the development of your children. I've never seen a program like it. I bought it about a year and a half ago. I've used many of the things in it with my daughter, Emery. Things like taking up the game of chess, things like setting goals for your children, creating vision boards with pictures and photos, um, you know, things like limiting television, uh, daily exercise, uh, you know, hobbies like art, um, things like this. So the list is long and it's an incredible program. On this podcast, which you have to listen to, it's in the PS in this email and I'll put the link below, uh, also below this video. First of all, a personal warning, a word of warning. Dr. John Roseman is a certified badass. He is despised, despised by the general public of psychologists, uh, ordinary physicians, anybody in the pharmaceutical game, anybody in the mental health uh, arena, anybody that's involved in the ADHD game, uh, especially with children, they hate his fucking guts. And for that reason, and that reason alone, the fact that 99% of the people in the mental health industry despise uh, Dr. John so much tells me that he's a guy I need to listen to. You may agree or disagree with everything. That's what independent thought is all about. But if you have children of any age, plus yourself, this applies to me, this applies to you, um, you need to watch this 55 minute podcast. And it's a phenomenal interview because Dan is a tremendous interviewer and Dr. John is a cerebral assassin when it comes to the topic of manufactured mental illness in our society, especially now with our, with our children. Our most valuable resource, manufactured mental illness. So I encourage you to listen to that podcast and leave a comment below your thoughts, your independent thoughts on this topic. So there's a part in the podcast that I just wanna comment on that applies to all elite businessmen, 
it applies to you watching these morning videos. There is something that Dr. Ro Roseman talks about. It's called the flicker. It's called the screen flicker. And it's not new. And it's not something that hasn't been around for a long time. So the screen flicker, and this is something that started, uh, Dr. Roseman said in the late 1950s, early 1960s, with the introduction, with the invention of the color television. So uh, that's the first time. Good morning. They, that, that, that the flicker began in the late 1950s, early 60s with the invention of the color television. And what the two, he calls it the two and a half second flicker. And it's engineered and it's programmed on purpose to reset our focus. It's engineered on purpose. It was designed to reset our focus. And you could tell more in those days, but when you would be watching color TV, the screen would reset it would flicker, it would reset, you could barely notice it, every two and a half seconds. And this was designed even way back in the day to reset our focus and to help us people watching TV. It was, it's designed to addict. It's designed to reset the focus, reset your attention towards what you're watching. And back in the day, as same as today, it's extremely, extremely addictive. So it's called the two and a half second flicker. Now fast forward to today, where we carry our televisions with us in our hands. Our color TVs are no longer at home, you know, in the living room where you're watching, you know, maybe a couple of hours or three hours of TV at night after you get home from work. Now we carry our color televisions in our hands with our smartphones. And I don't, I don't carry a phone. Badass. So now people are exposed to this same two and a half second flicker on their screens. Nothing's changed. It's just better technology for that job at hand, which is resetting the focus, destroying attention span, and feeding that two and a half second addiction. So nothing has changed in that. Good morning. So what you have now is most people spend 18, 16, 17, 18 hours a day on their smartphone. They're constantly a hundred over 150 emails. The average businessman, up to 320 text messages per day, videos, anti-social media, um, all of these swamps, toxins, and poisons. But now we're doing the screen flicker for ourselves. So every time a person touches the smart screen or they scroll, whatever you do, that's considered a flicker too. So the flicker is almost now more than two and a half seconds. Sometimes it's one second, sometimes it's half a second. So when our children, when ourselves were on these smartphones, it's just constant screen flicker. It's just constant refocus, reset, 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 reset. And that's what we've been doing, good morning, over the last 50 years, but now it's 17 hours a day, 18 hours a day, however many hours you're spending on your phone. So Dr. Roseman in the podcast talks about how this has been done on purpose. There's nothing, it's not a mistake. It's not something that wasn't planned. It makes us extremely addictive to a specific product, electronics, especially screens. So his point is that this two and a half second flicker 
that began way back in the 1950s and now we're exposed to it up to 18 hours a day. He says, do you think it's a coincidence that the average businessman now, 55 years old, average businessman, has an attention span, has an attention span of seven seconds. Right now, the average 55 year old businessman, married with children, successful, my, my niche, okay, has an attention span of seven seconds. I think of this every day when I'm doing trainings, when I'm creating newsletters, when I'm, when I'm shooting videos. The average 55 year old businessman has now an attention span of seven seconds. So we now know, and this stat came out the other day, our millennium group, our millennium group, our children who have grown up on smartphones since they were infants, infants, babies, you see it all the time at a restaurant, you know, children under the age of one, toddlers, you name it, holding their parents' smartphone, watching some, you know, game or cartoon on the screen while mom and dad try to enjoy dinner. This, just the millenniums now have an attention span uh, of less than three seconds. We've now hit the threshold of less than three seconds. That's with millenniums. Now, it's only going to disintegrate from there, but those are the two groups that I researched yesterday. My, my group of men, 45 to 55, seven second attention span, and millenniums, three seconds or less attention span. So, Dr. John Roseman comments about, do you think that this is a coincidence of some sort that our young people who have grown up on these screens with a two and a half second flicker, flicker, reset, flicker, reset, flicker, reset, refocus, 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 is a coincidence that our attention spans, our children's attention spans are now less than three seconds. And our own personal attention spans we didn't grow up on these things, uh, is it seven seconds and disintegrating? So I've been fascinated with this concept ever since because I've been a voice in the wilderness for, you know, my 10 years as a coach and consultant to high level businessmen and entrepreneurs that we need to limit screen time. We need to read real physical paper and ink books we need to smash the screens. We need to take breaks. We need to shut off our phones at six o'clock at night and be present with the people that matter most. Our, our best friend, our secret weapon wife, our children. And we just can't continue to spend our lives inside our phones 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day, on and on. So I talk to my world builders about this every single day, about shutting off their phones and taking mental breaks from the relentless, and I mean relentless, poison and toxicity of these screens. And you know, taking in a Sunday morning, having a technology-free morning on Sunday where you don't touch your phone, you lock it away on, sun, on Saturday night, and you don't touch your phone until after lunch on Sunday where you're truly present with your wife and your children. Things like this. I do a digital detox on Saturday, the entire day, 24 hours. I never touch a screen. I never touch anything. The only thing I do is I write on my laptop my MacBook, which isn't connected to the internet. I don't watch TV. Of course, I don't text. I don't send any email. I don't use my computer. 
I don't use the internet on Saturday. Of course, I don't participate in any of that swamp social media. I don't participate, but on the Saturday, it's a 100% digital detox day for me. And that's just the day that I need because I write a lot on a computer. I don't carry a cell phone, so the only time I have my phone is when I'm shooting these videos. This is a broken iPhone 7. I refuse to spend money on something that I don't need. And the only time I carry a phone is if I'm with my daughter, Emery, and my, do and my wife, Kristen, sis, that she be able to phone me. That's it. So 85% of the time, I don't carry a phone. I don't have any applications on my phone. I don't have any social media, which I don't participate in now three years. I don't have my email and I don't text. And less than 10 people on God's green earth have my phone number, my cell phone number. Less than 10 people. My wife, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of my private clients, maybe. Uh, so my phone doesn't ring. I don't receive texts or anything. I might get a text from my wife, uh, but very rarely she knows it just goes unanswered. But my brain gets these long periods of rest, digital detox rest. And we are raising our daughter, Emery, with Dr. John Roseman's um, teachings as well, without even knowing it. Where we have almost, she almost has had no screen time whatsoever in her nine years on this earth. And I'm so, I feel so blessed that we took this approach because most of her friends now at the age of eight and nine you know, are starting to have their own phones. Their parents don't know any better, right? Their parents are addicted. Their parents are completely, you know, walking zombies, drones, you name it. And they think it's a fantastic idea to follow the crowd and get your nine-year-old or your eight-year-old their own phone. So as parents, we've decided to take the badass route, look around at what everybody else is doing and we've decided to do the, the exact opposite. And it's been a win for us. So my daughter doesn't, of course, have a phone. And she, of course, doesn't have an iPad. She doesn't use an iPad. She doesn't use a computer. And she doesn't have any screen time. The only thing that Emery has is on a Saturday or a Sunday, one of those days, she will watch two little shows, like little shows, you know, Clifford the Red Dog, uh, whatever, I don't know, even what, just simple, simple shows as a reward for her six days of work at school and all her activities. Good morning. So that's it. And we're, we're looking to eliminate that, to smash that TV screen for good. TV is never on in our house. Krista and I watch a 45 minute uh, recorded TV show. Like right now we're watching Bosch and we watch one per night, about four out of seven nights and the rest of the time we sit out on the dock, sit by the fireplace in the winter and talk and basically that's it. So our TV's never on. I'm not sitting there watching sports anymore. I stopped all of that. If I watch a game, I watch the last five, 10 minutes, even the Super Bowl, the last five or 10 minutes, NBA playoffs, last five minutes, NHL playoffs, last five or 10 minutes. So basically we're screen free for 85% of the time. So I encourage you to watch this podcast below. I usually don't recommend um, other people's things, uh, but this is a special case where I think that as a parent, as a father, as a husband, you need to look at this and say to yourself, does this make sense? And I'm gonna talk more about this over the weekend in my daily videos because this has become personal. 
for Krista and myself and our daughter Emery. So I'll leave the link below. Uh, it's Dr. John Roseman, uh, Einstein Blueprint Podcast, and you can watch it. And that's it. If you have not got a copy of my brand new book, How to Not Get Your Ass Kicked in Business and in Life, my 25, 25 rules for helping you <clears throat> finally live life and do business on your own terms, period. My 31 years in the entrepreneurial trenches, my 22 years as a pro and amateur hockey coach, I own two of my own hockey franchises through that time. I've coached pro, I've coached amateur, I've coached teenagers, children, growing adults for money. Also, you can get a copy of it. It's a physical book. I don't do the GoFetch PDF or any of that garbage at nobullbook.com. That link is below. And the book is $20. I'll pay for the shipping. I'll FedEx it to your home or your business, your investment in your marriage, your marketing, your relationship with your children, your physical and mental health and building your legacy is $20. If you don't feel that your building your badass world is worth $20, I have no clue why you're on my video list. I have no clue. My daily videos are for cleaners, they're for closers, they're for rainmakers, they're not for pretenders, they're not for chumps, they're not for freebie seekers, and they're certainly not for poodles. Uh, this place is for badass millionaires, champions, not chumps. Men that invest in their business, invest in their marketing, invest in their mental toughness, invest in their business, their systems, their marriage, their relationship with their children, you name it. So, also I have a free training at worldbuildingwebinar.com worldbuildingwebinar.com, the link's below. That's my 10 insider secrets for helping you build your own brand new world. Build it any way you want. Your life, your rules, your world, your terms. I show you, I show you how to do it in this complimentary training. And finally, if you would like to be placed, which first of all, if you'd like to apply, and then if you would like to be placed, on a waiting list for my next world building five-star coaching brotherhood it's expensive twenty-five thousand dollars per man and it's an eight-week sprint where i literally help you transform your entire life into a brand new world your business your marketing your marriage your relationship with your children your mental and physical health your legacy everything you can do that at badassmillionaire.com slash apply below. And once you apply, fill out the answer the five or six questions. In June, when I reopen it, if I decide to reopen it, uh, you and I will get on the phone. No salesperson. I don't have any salespeople. I'm the salesperson. We'll talk about whether you're a good fit for this particular program. It's hard coaching and it's expensive, so it's not for most, and it may not be for you. And also, if you're the type of man who hard coaching works with, it does accountability and hard coaching work for you? Or do you prefer a softer, gentler approach? Those are the decisions that you'll have to make, not me. I don't care if you apply, I don't care if you sign up, I don't care if you participate, it makes no difference to me. I'm in a safe harbor position. I've been in a safe harbor position for seven years. I do what I want, when I want, where I want, on the terms I want, at the price I want. I have no need whatsoever to work for money anymore. I do this because it's my passion. I love to fucking coach. I love to consult with other winners and champions and it's just in my DNA. It's who I am, it's my personal mission, 
it's my purpose and that's what it's all about so whether or not you participate makes no difference to me if you don't somebody else will participate and uh, that's the way the real world works so that's it for today here endeth the lesson until tomorrow when i have more to say about dr john roseman's interview with the great dan leonis uh, i'm actually krista and i are uh, heading out to dinner tonight with dan and his beautiful wife inez and uh, it's going to be what i call a badass five-star dinner where not a lot of small talk we'll be talking about business marketing our children his program my program sports winning losing my type of uh my type of dinner so that's it for today two words that change my life and two words that can change your life be relentless